Hi guys, welcome back to Carry On K. As you already know, it's Karen. I'm back. <laughs> so I know I have been gone for a minute and I just really been in my own bubble, just dealing with life and a lot of things. I know the last time, well, I know I dropped the video maybe in September-ish, a couple months ago, basically explaining to you guys how I do suffer from SAD, which is Seasonal Affective Disorder. And when it gets kind of cold, oh, just a little bit cold, I can start entering into a more reclusive state, a more isolated state, um, because I'm low energy and I need um, the vitamin D. I need the sunlight to thrive. And so that has really been some of my issue. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and make that an excuse because it's no excuse for you guys not seeing me. But I am going to say that is a small tidbit of the reason why you guys haven't seen me. The other part is really about dedication and not necessarily dedication. But I want to say confidence, you know, a um, little bit of doubt, you know, um, self-doubt on this um, whole YouTube journey. But I'm so excited that I have made up my mind and I have decided that I'm going to do this YouTube thing full throttle. Guys, I feel like my lighting is so off and it looks very yellow-ish. I don't know why. It must be this light. I want to move it, but I don't think I am, y'all. I apologize. I have my Baja Blast here. See? Now my lighting is acting up. Okay, let's see. I, I have to get this together. I have to actually create a space for my content creating and all my videos that I am about to start producing. So bear with me and I thank you because I need to get this all together. I need to get the background together. But you know what? If I sit here and wait for perfection, I'll never get to this because me, I'm the queen of perfection. I'm the queen of saying everything has to be perfect and therefore it's a delay. And I'm tired of delaying myself. I, no more delays. We just going to jump in it. And we just gonna do this. It's just gonna be what it is. Cause I'm tired. Okay. I am tired. Okay. I'm tired. Okay. I'm tired of not reaching my full potential. I'm tired of basically just not achieving what I know I can do. YouTube, can I do it? Totally. And you know how I know I, I can do it because the maker told me so. Okay, so guys, I'm going to get it together. So my apologies, my apologies. Next up, I want to go ahead and thank everybody, my friends, uh, my family members, my coworkers, um, just everyone who has been around me. Just reaching out to me, supporting me, encouraging me to continue making videos, to not give up on YouTube, just to move forward with it and to have confidence in myself and to know that I can do this. They believe in me, so I need to believe in myself. So for all of you guys who have been out there encouraging me, okay, I want to thank you guys. I really appreciate all your encouragement, all your support. And look, I'm back. And it's because of you. It's because of you. So you know what? If I win, you win. And guess what? I'm not going to forget about y'all. I'm not going to forget about y'all. All right. So I have so much I need to catch you guys up on because it's been like, what, some months? Maybe two months, three months. And I know I've been dropping these videos sparingly, so I apologize. So Let's do a little update. I know you guys know that I was doing my master's program um, in social work. Unfortunately, I have taken a break from that. I was just tired, exhausted, just putting in too much. And so I had to take a break because, um, one, not only 
were people giving me trouble in my program, but I was just exhausted. I felt like a lot of people were, I don't want to use the word hating on me, but they were essentially hating on me. They were hating on me. And unfortunately, their hate and their jealousy did affect me. And I'm sorry about that. And am I am I sad about that? Actually, I'm not sad about that because you know what? It actually shows me just how sad it is that a lot of people do not support you. They don't support your advancement. They don't support you just going in and getting it, okay? You know, me, I'm a type of person, I support you at whatever you want to do. As long as it's positive, you're bettering yourself. And if you better yourself, you're bettering the community. So I'm all for that. Everybody don't see it like that, and that's unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, the saying is, everything's going to work out for my good, regardless. I mean, you can attempt, but all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And so it did work out to my advantage because I was able to take a break. I was able, able to refocus and I was able to reflect on my goals, my mission, my purpose, why I was going after my master's degree and what I can essentially use it for when I do complete my program. You know, now I did also come to the conclusion that, hey, do you really need it for what you want to do? Because you probably really don't, you know? So we're still there, but I'm just very thankful that I did take a break this semester. I could have went in. I could have just been hard-headed. I'm like, oh, I'm going in. I'm going hard. I'm just about to take another full load of classes. But I'm happy I was wise to say, you know what, Karen? You need a pause. You need a break. You need to sit back. You need to reflect. And you need to think about it. And also, what I have to say is, I didn't, God told me, hey, you need a pause. You need to sit back. You need to reflect. And so I'm thankful for it. Um, I'm still educating kids at the Montessori, still helping them out. You know, we're great. Well, I'm more like right now, floating around classes, um, assisting where they need me at. Um, have I been enjoying it? I have been enjoying it. And guys, I apologize for the go. This has been like, a bad habit that I have basically picked up while working at the school and like chewing and thinking has gone hand in hand with me. Like, I don't know how many packs of gum that I go through, but I go through a lot of gum since working at that school. So I apologize and I'm going to work on not chewing gum in these videos. So excuse me. Um, but my babies, I'm so excited about them. They're just amazing. Um, there's a lot of things that we have to work on when it comes to them, but I'm very happy that I can interact with them every day. I can see them. I can educate them. I can show them that love I have inside of me for them, the care that Sometimes they don't get at home. Some of them do get a lot of care, but there are some that they just need a little extra or they're not getting enough, okay? So I'm very happy to be there to give it to them. I know a lot of educators will say that it is a pleasure to just share their love, their heart, their passion for kids in various ways, whether it be through sharing emotions or encouraging them, inspiring them, educating them, 
that's how they convey their love. For me, it's through educating them, but it's also through recognizing them, who they are as an individual, um, acknowledging their gifts, their talents, their gifts, just who they are as a human being. Just because you're this little itty person, itty bitty person, doesn't mean you're not this huge person. So I like to let them know that I see them, I see them. All right. Uh, what else have I done lately? I have also been to Orlando this past uh, month. I went on vacation. I needed some sun, so it was our anniversary. And I said, you know what? I got to get out of here. I can't do it. I got to go. I got to get out of Michigan. And I got to go to the Sunshine State where I'm from. So I did do that. And it was amazing. It was a fantastic, phenomenal time. I enjoyed it all the way. As you can see, I'm rocking the blonde. This is this is the color I have discovered for myself on my vacation. Unfortunately, this lighting doesn't do it any justice. And I'm going to have to work on that. But this is her. This is her. Okay. And so it was a phenomenal time in Orlando. We did a lot of amusement stuff, gaming, going out. Um, we stayed at Las Palmeras in Orlando. Wonderful hotel, wonderful staff. Let me see if I can remember any people. I think I remember George and Austin. I feel like I'm saying I'm missing somebody else's name. Um, but it was a phenomenal time. They were great staff. Um, I met some new folks. So it was, it was really good. Let's see. So to wrap up this video, I'm just going to update you guys on what's my goals and what I'm planning to do moving forward now that I am back. So one, I have decided that I think I'm going to go ahead and start a new channel. I'm going to keep this channel. I think I might use this channel for lifestyle, maybe fashion, and just personal vlogs. But I have another channel that I want to do, like some interviewing, some chatting with other individuals that will be coming soon. And so you will see a link to my videos real soon. So look out for that. I'm going to let you guys know when that is all the way done. I'm also looking at maybe content branding or repurposing this channel. I just really want to know what do you guys want me to talk about? You guys know I'm all about faith. I'm all about God. I'm all about love, peace, honesty, integrity, character. So that is something that I want to incorporate into my channel. You know, I'm a classy, you know, you know. So that's something I want to give you guys. And how would you guys like me to serve your club? Um, maybe not with that, but... Yeah, I, I just came from work, guys. Excuse me. Took my, you know, little dress on. And I was like, if I don't get to this video right now, hmm. So we gonna get it. We gonna strike while the iron is hot. And we gonna keep going. I have everything set. Look. Okay. Resilient, confident, positive. I bought this from the Dollar Tree. And even though it's for my classroom, it's really for me. It was the last one left. And it talks about basically me just believing in myself and knowing that I can do this. I got this. I got this. You know, people have been telling me that lately at work. You got this. And I believe so. I got this. So we're going to do this. Um, what else do I have to say? So my goal right now moving forward is full throttle. They call it digital entrepreneurship. Yes, I'm trying to be a digital entrepreneur. 
<laughs> Why not go for it? Guys, people are calling me. They need me. Seven. Yes. Seven. Yeah. Seven. I'm sorry, guys. When mom calls, she calls. Okay, they call it digital entrepreneurship. Digital entrepreneurship. And so that is all about content creating, um, online businesses, things in relationship to that. Look it up. When I heard of it, somebody was like, oh, what about digital entrepreneurship? I was like, digital entrepreneurship? I'm, I'm a pretty smart person, but I'm like, what does that look like? I'm, I'm, I assume coding, right? But I didn't really think, hey, YouTube content creating or Twitter or Instagram and all that good stuff. So I was like, hmm, let me try digital entrepreneurship. That might be my thing worth it. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing. I am so happy to be back. Thank you so much for listening to me. I'm looking forward to creating you more content. I'm working on a lot of things right now that I do want to share with you guys soon. So much love. Once again, thanks for tuning in to Carry On K. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what I need to do. Let me know what would you like to see more of. It has been a pleasure. And I'm looking forward to dropping these videos for you guys. Bye.